Okie dokie. Uh, second example for this problem, I will do it much faster. If you want more of a breakdown on why we do the procedure I'm about to do, feel free to check out the first example. So we want to find the slope between these two points given to us in this chart. But before we do so, we want to take the ln, the natural log, of the two bacteria mass values. So we're going to take the ln of the 185, 72, 98, huge number. And we're going to take the ln of the 10,246. We will subtract them because these are basically our new y2 and y1. And then we will divide it by x2 over x1, which is still just 6 and 2, respectively. So um, we're subtracting our two time values, x2 minus x1, and we're putting the ln of the two original bacteria mass values on top and finding the difference between those. And this will give us our answer that we're looking for. So ln of 185.72, I'm just going to use these, but plug in different values. 185.72.98. And in here, we will instead type 10.246. And on the bottom, we have a 6 minus 2. And just like that, we get the slope between these two points to be about 1.299999 or about 1.3. So we're looking for the answer with 1.3 in it. We can eliminate all the others. So it looks like option A is our answer. Again, feel free to check out the longer example of this problem I've done if you're curious about why we use this procedure. All right.